I'm Rick Veer, sound designer and author of the Sound Effects Bible, and this is Road University. Today we're going to discuss recording sound effects in the field. The studio is always the best place to record isolated sound effects, but sometimes you need to go where the sounds are, and that means leaving the comfort of a controlled setting. The main challenge with field recording is the environment. There's a host of things that an uncontrolled environment can throw at you, such as background noise, wind, and adverse climates. Rode has some great products that will help you combat these elements. First, let's look at mic selection. When I head out in the field, there are two mics that I always have with me, a stereo mic and a shotgun mic. Single point stereo mics such as the NT4 allow for a quick point and shoot solution when gathering ambiences or other sound effects that call for a stereo image such as car buys. The NT4 features two cardioid capsules in a fixed XY configuration. It can be phantom powered from an external source or internally via a 9 volt battery. This mic is by far the quietest of any stereo mics in its price range and it's used by professionals around the world. For a shotgun mic, the NTG3 is a solid workhorse in the field, and its RF bias technology makes it practically bulletproof to its environment. Having the right mics is only half the battle. Next, let's look at shock mounts and wind protection. There are three ways to mount stereo and shotgun microphones. Handheld, boom pole, or mic stand. In all three scenarios, you should use a shock mount. A shock mount is a way of isolating the microphone from bumps, vibrations, and handling sounds. Rode offers several different shock mount solutions. A pistol grip is a good universal tool to have as it can be mounted on a boom pole, mic stand, or handheld, giving you flexibility in the field. Next, let's talk about wind protection. I can't say this enough, always use wind protection when shooting outdoors. The most basic form of wind protection is the foam windshield. This is a good solution for reducing wind noise during mic movements on interior locations. But these aren't practical solutions for outdoors. The dead cat and dead kitten can be slipped over top of the windscreen for better protection. For shotgun mics, the deluxe windshield offers wind protection along with speed and flexibility for recordists on the go. The ultimate solution is the blimp and dead wombat. When used together, this unit offers superior wind protection with solid construction that can handle the rigors of the field, which is where we're headed to right now to check out these mics. We're on location to gather some car buys. The location we've selected is pretty isolated from background noise such as traffic. Keep in mind, however, during warmer months, birds and insects can spoil an otherwise perfect location. There are several ways to record a car buy. The first is a stationary stereo image. For this setup, we'll use the NT4 on a mic stand. The mic stand prevents possible movement from the recordist and allows them to focus on their levels or even a secondary mic. It's a good idea to use a sandbag at the base of the stand to stop the mic from getting knocked over. For an even stereo image, place the mic perpendicular to the path of the vehicle so that it evenly passes from left to right or vice versa. As a good rule of thumb, you should never move a stereo mic during a take as this gives an undesirable shifting of the image. Now let's talk about using the shotgun mic. Shotgun mics like the NTG3 are perfect for field work because they allow you to focus on a specific sound by reducing unwanted background noise. And in field work, there's a lot of background noise to deal with. For mic positioning, you have a couple of options. The first is to place the shotgun mic on a stand perpendicular to the road. This will give you a small field of focus as the narrow pickup pattern will give you less of the approach and pass by. A better solution would be to follow the car's approach and pass by with a handheld shotgun. Keep in mind that if you point the mic towards the ground, you're going to pick up more of the tires and less of the engine. Another alternative is to mount the mic on a boom pole above the car's path. 
This will give you the most direct sound. If you want to get even more creative with recording the vehicle in motion, you can try onboard recording by mounting mics around the vehicle, such as under the hood or near the muffler. This is a perfect job for the NT6. Now let's head back to the chop shop and wrap this up. As you can see, recording in the field offers many opportunities as well as many obstacles. These obstacles can be easily overcome by having the right tools and being prepared. When deciding between a shotgun mic and a stereo mic, you should consider whether your sound effect needs a sense of space during the recording. Remember, you can layer mono tracks together to build a stereo image, but sometimes recording that sound as a stereo track on location will save you time and provide a more realistic effect. I'm Rick Veers and I'll see you next time at Road University. Until then, make some noise. <laughs>